It's 8 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day. Hey, look at this. Phil Donahue and Oprah are going to be joining us live on the show in just a matter of minutes here on Good Day. That's okay, a big seriously, get. Seriously, I did have to do a double take. They look good. Yeah, really they good. They look very good. Yeah, you can see they're standing by in Orlando. We're going to talk live with these two superstars coming up Phil here in Oprah. just a bit. Looking forward to that. Uh, and we'll also talk about who we look like, celebrity lookalikes. <laughs> Say I, know, I know who I think you look like. But okay, I'm not going to tell save, you. Save it. And now, Jim Van Fleet's a tough one. I can't think no, of No, easy. Who? Easy, and it's terrible. Alfred E. Newman? No, yeah. Oh, come on. I get a howdy doody, and it's... No, you don't I look get, like howdy Oh, for doody. you, it's awful. It's... What can you do? Genetics. No, I get it. I get it all the time. <laughs> That's who she get. And what was it? Uh, well, never mind. Hi, I'm Mike Cates. Phil Donahue. And I'm Carol, Oprah Double Take, and we're coming to you on Good Day Live, my Fox 35. <laughs> I love it. Man, they look just like them. They do. Yeah, how many times, and we'll, we'll ask about this, how many times do they get mistaken? I bet it happens. I mean, all, I bet they have to go to the grocery store in disguise, probably. I if I was her, I would fill out an application for like an Oprah credit card. Yes. Right? Get a credit I'm, limit of I'm $3 million. I'm law breaking here, but that's what I would do. All right. All right, new this morning. Celebrity impersonators are in town this week for a big convention at the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista Resort. Can you imagine if you're staying at that resort, oh but you don't know that's going on, and you're like, oh, did you just see? Guess who's here? Oh, my gosh. Oprah's I just here. saw oh, Brad Phil Pitt. Donahue. Oh, yeah. Hilarious. All right, so that got us thinking. Who do we look alike? Okay, there's one I get all the time. I totally agree. Yeah, Brad you need Paisley. to grow yourself a goatee, though. You think so? Yes, look at that. Even look at the way you kind of cock your head to the yeah. side a little bit. Yeah, very similar. But his ears are a little bigger. Yours are... Yeah, he's normal. got more hair. We're about the same age, but he's still got a little <laughs> more hair than I do. Mine's rapidly going backwards. Okay, so Amy, we ask her, who does she look like? And the survey says... Ah! What? <laughs> wow, okay. where did they get that picture of me? That's like from 1986. You guys have the same or lipstick. Or maybe 82. Uh, wow. Hair is uh, similar. That's like a super old picture. I think they seriously grabbed that back from the archives. <laughs> but that, seriously, Dolly. But it's always from the neck down, people tell me that. Yeah. Nothing. Oh. Ah! <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's talk, talk about, about, about these celebrity lookalikes this morning. This is fun. <laughs> That's right. We are joined now by the king and queen of talk. Of course, that would be Phil Donahue and Oprah Winfrey. Both of them impersonators appearing at the Sunburst Convention of Celebrity Impersonators and Tribute Artists. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you for having Thank us you. here. All right, so uh, let's start with you, Phil. Your actual real name is Michael Cates. How did this all come about for you? Well, people told me I look like Phil, and finally I just did something about it, so I looked into the lookalike field, and uh, gosh, there wasn't anybody doing it. So I was just to watch Phil, and I thought it was just great. Uh, you guys are, are spot on. Oprah, you look fantastic. Do you, and again, Carol Wodel, is that you. your last name? Is it Wodel for your last name? It's, yes it is, it's Wodel. Thank you very much. Okay, so how many times have you played this off and not let on that you're actually an impersonator? Do you, do you play it out to see what people will do? Oh, yes, constantly. We hear, I hear 365 days someone will stop me somewhere, even when I'm not looking this Oprah-esque. <laughs> sort of detract away from your daily activities. I mean, we all have to go to the grocery store. We have to get gas. I mean, at some point, do you say, oh my gosh, I, I almost need to put on a blonde wig or I need to, you know, do something so that people don't recognize me? Most definitely. Yes, there are those days that do come about when I have to just escape, you know? <laughs> right, right. I just wake up and they know it's Phil. <laughs> so. Hey, Phil, have you ever met the real Phil? No, but I would love to meet him and Marlo Thomas one day. I, I just think that would be quite an honor. And Carol, how about you? Have you ever met Oprah? No, the closest I've gotten is in front of Harpo Studios. <laughs> You're a kid. Did you take a picture? Oh, I most certainly did. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's a hit. Yeah, I want to hear from both of you on this. Oprah, let's start with you in this case, though. Any bizarre stories where people just absolutely freaked out thinking they were meeting the real person? 
most definitely. I had a job in Chicago recently, and as I went to go claim my bags, I was standing there, and a gentleman stood next to me in a uniform, and he leaned over and whispered to me, Ma'am, is Stedman coming to get your bags today? <laughs> How story. cute! And, and what about you, Phil? Any total freak-out moments from potential fans? Yes, there was a couple people in uh, Las Vegas, some older women, that basically would not let me go away until I told them, yes, I was Phil Donahue. So oh my it, gosh. Was, it, was, it was nice. You know. Are you Good guys compliment. married? <laughs> not, not, not together, but married no, no, in not. general. Okay, but in general, are either of you two married? No, we are not. No. no. Have so you ever used this in your dating world? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have to find a Dr. Phil, see, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Marla would approve of this. So, uh. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the life of a lookalike. I mean, do you spend your time basically just going to these conventions across the country? How do you make money from doing this? Well, actually, we have people that contact us because, say, a corporate event wants to do a little skit or a little promotion. We love doing Oprah's favorite thing. So we give out products or give out items, so they will contact us and they'll say, can you help us out with that? That's right. And we do a show called Talk Show Legends, and uh, we can actually both do a show together and make it like a live TV broadcast with the callers coming in and everything. So uh, that's what we do. It just made such an impression on us uh, watching Phil for 29 years and Oprah for 25. All right, so Carol, I got to ask you if you could just channel a little inner Oprah for us because I, you did your little, ah, but I, I, do, I mean, do you have like a dramatic one, you know, like she does like on the Favorite Things show? I'm sorry. Do we have? Can you channel your inner Oprah and, and do a, a little Oprah for us like she does on her Favorite Things show? Oh, like on oh. her Favorite Things show. Well, we shall be back with Good Day Box 35. And we'll be having fun! No. <laughs> That's good. Hey, at any of these events, and the reason I bring this up is I heard that uh, Matt Damon actually showed up at an impersonators conference one time, and everybody said, no, you don't look like him. But it was actually him. Do you guys ever see real celebrities show up at these things? Yes, almost oh, definitely. In fact, Oprah showed up uh, several years ago at yes. our convention in Las Vegas. And unfortunately, they told her, no, we're sorry, you really not that close to her. Oh. <laughs> you are kidding. That's funny. Well, that was your chance to meet her too, Carol. That stinks. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thanks so much. I know the big event is taking place. Very quickly, where can people see you for free in case they want to come out and see some of the lookalikes? We are at the uh, Buena Vista, or where is it? The it's lake. The, yeah, Wyndham Lake Buena Vista Resort. Uh, the shows will be uh, from 12.30 to 4.30 in the ballroom Friday and Saturday, and you can get your tickets at the hotel, and you won't see a larger convergence of uh, lookalikes, celebrity impersonators, tribute artists, you know, that you'll see around here anyway. Well, you guys look Both. terrific. We really appreciate you Lots taking the time. Michael Cates, Carol Whittle, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Again, check them out at the Wyndham Resort uh, here in Orlando this coming weekend. Wow, seriously, the people That's at that fun. resort, they're going to be freaking all out. Weekend yeah. long. All right, thanks, stuff. Dolly. Appreciate it. It is 844. <laughs>